is the highly anticipated ant miner e3 is it worth it what should you guys do all right let's get into it digi's gonna break it down all right so we all know that bitmain has been destroying all the asic resistant um, mining algorithms and here's the next batch so this ant miner e3 made to mine the algorithm of ethereum and how does it really compare you know so we all have a general idea of the graphics cards their power watt usage and their millihashes when mining so how does this compare even to the base models let's say of the power color amd rx 580s so we're looking here at 800 dollars for the unit probably another $200 to buy the uh, for shipping, sorry. So we're looking at probably $1,100, $1,000, $1,100 in that range to get the whole unit shipped. Now, let's take a look at the power consumption. So you see the hashing algorithm, that's the ETH hash, and that's what we know is for Ethereum. Now, our power consumption is 800 watts, our hash rate is 180. Now, how does this really compare? So to me, this looks like about six cards. If you were running AMD RX 580s at 30 millihash per second, so is it really worth it to even buy this? Um, let's kind of get into it and let's see. So from a estimate, we know that the I'm using the RX 580s as an example because I'm using these in my current mining Ethereum rig and I know that a lot of others are using this as well. So the average draw for these are about 140 watts and you can get them with overclocking about 30 millihash per second. So if we're at that 30 mark with the 140 mark, we're looking at about approximately 840 watt draw with over 800 millihash so what's going on like i said is this thing worth it like should we even entertain this idea or entertain this thought apples to apples it's right there i mean the gpus have it beat i mean maybe not beat but they coincide they're they're right together they're racing for each other I mean, again, I don't support Bitmain. I think that they're a monopoly. I hate their their whole team, their whole staff, just the way that they handle and process repairs. Guys, I've had over 16 Antminer S9s. Half of them have gone down. The warranty issues and trying to repair them, it's like the worst thing I've ever experienced in my whole entire life. They send back complete generic messages and it is the absolute worst experience to deal with now my ethereum cards i have not had one card burn out or go down all right so if we put this comparison side by side would i rather have the amd rx 580 cards that have a huge resale value right so you can sell them back to gamers you can sell them back to miners you can do whatever you want with them or to have this pos ant miner e3 where they're trying to again monopolize the system and then take out this asic resistant and create all of this crap that's going to happen again it is absolutely not worth it now even if we look at what to mine.com and go to the calculator look at the hash rate so look at 180, 800 power draw. This is my cost right here for electricity. If yours is lower, it's gonna be different, but you're talking a measly thousand, 1300 in a year. So ROI, maybe, maybe, maybe in a year, if the mining difficulty doesn't raise exponentially. So my take on this is an absolute don't buy. I mean, hey, you guys need to do what's best for you. But again, I don't support Bitmain. I absolutely hate the way that their products are made. I think that this is a complete POS. But again, guys, it's up to you. I just wanted to show you the newest miner again back on the market. So tell me what your thoughts are in the comments. I really want to know what you guys think because I think that this is absolutely crazy and BS once again by Bitmain. But hey, what do I know? All right, guys, let me know. Make sure to comment. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like and share the video. Let's get this out there. All right, guys, 
Digi out.